Freedom of Russia Legion reveals Russian army losses amid volunteer units raid. The Russian army has lost over 1,500 invaders killed and wounded as a result of the raid by volunteer troops. Russian volunteer units also managed to destroy and damage 171 units of military equipment, according to a press conference of Russian volunteer troops. As reported by the Freedom of Russia Legion representative Alexei Baranovsky, Russian volunteer troops were able to liberate two settlements from the Putin regime within a few days and destroy a large number of occupiers and military equipment. Thus, the losses of the Russian Federation over the raid are as follows. 651 irretrievable losses, 980 wounded, 37 captured, 121 units of equipment destroyed, 50 units of equipment disabled. In turn, as noted by the Freedom of Russia Legion representative, Russia launched 323 strikes with aerial bombs. All of them hit the territory of the Belgorod and Kursk regions. Thanks to our operation, the armed forces of Ukraine were able to stabilize the front and cover the areas where Russian attack was expected, said Baranovsky. Recall on March the 12th, there was a breakthrough at the Ukraine-Russia border by fighters of the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian battalion who are fighting on the side of Ukraine. These volunteer battalions entered the Kursk and Belgorod regions where battles were going on for over a week, accompanied by strikes on military objects of the occupiers. Recently, the Defense Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine expressed the view that the limited military operations of the Russians would not end soon. Also, after a week of fighting, the authorities of the Belgorod region decided to evacuate part of the population. Additionally, Russian volunteer Corps fighters showed a video of a failed assault on their position by Russian troops during which the occupiers suffered losses and retreated. Russian volunteer corps raid into Russia. Putin's regime lost 51,064 square kilometers of territory. Russian volunteer troops fighting on the side of Ukraine continue to raid the Kursk and Belgorod regions. According to RBC Ukraine, the rebels managed to occupy some settlements near the Russian border and the Grey Zone has expanded during the week of fighting. Recall on March the 12th, it became known that the Russian border had been breached by fighters of the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion who are fighting on the side of Ukraine. These volunteer battalions have entered Kursk and Belgorod regions where they continue to fight, including attacks on the Russian occupiers' military facilities. From the first day of the operation, the Russian Volunteer Corps, the Freedom of Russia Legion and the Siberian Battalion claimed that they had managed to take control of Tyotkino in the Kursk region. But later, the volunteers clarified that they had taken only a part of the village and that fighting was still going on. Currently, the grey zone in the area of Tyotkino covers 11.29 square kilometers. Then, the grey zone has covered Glotovo and Kozinka in the Belgorod region and covers an area of 14.88 square kilometers. On March the 18th, Russian rebels announced that they had taken control of Kozinka. A flag was raised there. It should be noted that this village in the Grey Voronsky district has already been significantly destroyed by Russian aviation. Not so far from this area, a new grey zone has recently formed in the village of Gorkovsky, Belgorod region, with a size of 9.84 square kilometers. Thus, on March the 17th, the Siberian battalion reported that fighters together with Ichkarian volunteers entered the village and seized the administrative building. A few hours later, the rebels claimed that the settlement was under their control and raised the flag. Very close to the village of Gorkovsky, Russian volunteer troops also occupied the border village of Lozovaya Rudka. The grey zone there is currently not large, 0.34 square kilometers. In addition, the village of Nekoteyevka in the Belgorod district also fell under the grey zone. We are talking about an area of 1.57 square kilometers. The Russian authorities also lost control of the village of Novaya Tavolzanka in the Belgorod region. The grey zone there is 13.72 square kilometers. In total, the grey zones in the Belgorod and Kursk regions cover 51.64 square kilometers.
почувствовать тревогу, мы вышли в коридор, ну, с детьми. И, ну, вот был потужный выбух, во всех бусинках побывалось, ну, тклоп. А так, в принципе, все живы, слава Богу.